Welcome to my channel. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. My name is John. Today I'm going to review the new album by LA Guns, Checkered Past. Album was released on November 12th, 2021. So this band has a very uh, complicated history. Uh, they're from LA, formed in 1983, and they're a hard rock or a glam metal or sleaze metal band. And you might think uh, they sound similar to Guns N' Roses, and that's because they actually were uh, Guns N' Roses in the beginning, you know. At first they were playing with uh, Axl Rose and, you know, the things uh, ended up getting split up, you know, Guns N' Roses, they formed out of bands called, uh, you know, it was the original LA Guns and Hollywood Rose and Tracy Guns left and formed uh, his own band. So in the, bit, in the late 80s, they had uh, their self-titled album in 1988 and Cocked and Loaded in 89 and those were pretty much uh, big hits. Over the years, the band released lots of albums. In the 2000s, they split into like two different types of LA Guns. One was the Phil Lewis LA Guns, the other was the Tracy Guns LA Guns. Now, Phil Lewis and Tracy Guns are back together, but there's still another version of LA Guns with Steve Riley and Kelly Nichols. Now, that version of the band released an album last year called Renegades. This is the new album by the, I guess, the original LA Guns with uh, Tracy and Phil. It's called Checkered Past. I know it sounds all confusing, but anyway, let me move on. So back when I was a teenager, I actually uh, did meet this band once. Uh, they were doing a record signing in a record store near my house. And I was just an 18-year-old kid. I drove down to the store. I wanted to have them sign something. So I just like ripped out a poster from a magazine and had them sign it. So I'm waiting in line. I hand them the piece of paper. You know, they sign it and they kind of like gave me like this look and they like rolled their eyes and you know like hey I'm sorry I'm not like some kind of hot chick you're expecting but I kind of got a bad vibe from these guys and I never listened to this band again and this is actually the first uh, album I've listened to since Cocked and Loaded and that was like over 30 years ago but it's actually pretty good I actually like it so anyway uh, I'm going to talk about the album I'll just there's 11 songs I'm not, I'm not going to go through every song I'll just go through the ones I thought were uh, standouts. So um, one of the songs, well, the, the song I liked a lot was called uh, Bad Luck Charm. It has a really nice groove to it. It has some like harmonic in the intro. And the song has a very like a Guns N' Roses uh, type of sound. You know, I can imagine Axel and Slash playing this song. It has those like chanting vocals that reminds me a little of like an ACDC song. You know, maybe like a Thunderstruck or something like that guitar riff. It is repetitive, but it's just a very memorable song. The guitar solo stands out, kind of has like a psychedelic sound to it. it, has some pretty cool like guitar echo effects. And that's pretty cool. Another one I liked was called Get Along. This was uh, one of the singles that was released. It's a ballad, but slightly different type of sound than their like typical like, 80s hair metal ballad. Almost has like a Beatles or Oasis sound to it. They use uh, acoustic guitars, they have organs in the intro, and um, usually uh, ballads like, like from bands like this have like distorted power chords in the chorus, but they did keep them out in favor of like an electric guitar solo, and, and in the end it kind of has more of like a Black Crows type of sound, so I thought this was a pretty cool song. Another song I liked was called It's Over Now. A slower song, has a slightly darker tone. It's a power ballad, has the clean guitars in the intro, the heavy chords in the chorus. And the, sound, uh, the song sounds a lot like uh, Pick Up the Bones from Alice Cooper's Brutal Planet. You know, Phil Lewis's vocals, they do sound a lot like Alice on the song. And it's a good song, even if it is like very derivative. Um, another song I liked, Better Than You. Probably the heaviest song in the album. It has a guitar riff, almost like close to thrash metal. It's very fast-paced, uh, energetic drums. And the guitar riffs in the middle of the song are kind of like taken from like classic heavy metal. I think they're going for more of like a Judas Priest type of sound, but they still retain their signature like glam metal uh, style and sound on this song. Another good song is called Dog. Has that old school sleaze metal sound, kind of fast paced. Type of song that could have been on like the Cocked and Loaded album. It's a hard rocker. Good song for anybody looking for their classic sound. And another one I liked was called uh, That Ain't Why. So that's a hard rocker with, with like a driving guitar solo. That one brings back their classic set sound. And uh, another one, Physical Itch, one of the heavier songs. 
kind of a grungy or doomy uh, guitar riff and sound and another one where they bring back that heavier sound um, I almost hear like a slight like a mob rules uh, black sabbath type of influence on the song and it is pretty good it's you know it's a little heavier it's a little darker so I didn't like that one a lot so in conclusion I thought it was a pretty good album it does have a classic sound and you know the songs uh, bring back that sound of the 80s hard rock but they do go in some different directions, you know, there's lots of different influences from other bands, you know, sometimes you hear like a little bit of like a punk rock or hard rock or some heavy metal or some ballads and, you know, they uh, have lots of different influences, but at the same time, they do have that signature sound uh, that they do bring back that 80s uh, glam metal and that's a sound you don't really hear a lot from bands releasing album these days. So it's not very original. But it is enjoyable, the songs are memorable, and um, for that reason I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. Let me know in the comments uh, what you thought. So up next, uh, I had a request to do as an, a video on the band Air Supply, so I'll probably do that tomorrow. ACDC's Power Up will be celebrating one year, so I want to kind of do a follow-up because that was like one of my biggest videos uh, from like when I first started this channel. And um, as far as my poll goes, I think the last time I checked, uh, Metal Church was in the lead, so I'll probably do that one next week. So uh, that's all. Uh, please remember, like, comment, subscribe. I will put some other uh, videos that I have linked here. And thanks for watching. See you all in the next one.